Hey everybody, welcome to Engineering Academy and in this video I'll be talking about how to export the results obtained in SAP 2000 to Excel. Alright, so once you have designed your building and have made all the necessary checks that needs to be done, uh, you might need to export the results obtained from SAP 2000 to Excel, right? So for this you have to do uh, some steps, alright? Uh, let us take this be an example. Okay, so uh, after selecting the beam, what you need to do is just go to display and go to show tables. Let us check our uh, shear force and the movements that are uh, acting on this uh, beam, right? Okay, so for that, uh, just go to element output and click on frame output and here element forces and frames. And here select load cases and here you have to select the envelope for the beam, right? So click on OK and click on OK. So here you can see, uh, so this is the frame text, so frame text means that uh, this is the label or the number that is given by SAP to that beam and here is station at 0, so it means at this port and uh, 0 0.36322 means, it means that, uh, so it's the, right, so, okay, so here you can see uh, the 0 means here right at the support of the column and 3.0.363 means uh, 0.363 meter away from the column and 0.726 means 0.726 meter away from the column so these are the points where you can see all these data right so output case here is envelope and uh, case type is combination so it's a load combination and uh, here p that means axial load is uh, very low it is 10 to the power minus 12 means it's very low so nearly equal to zero so shear force is 5.912 kN and uh, that is the major shear force and the minus shear force is uh, you know almost zero the torsion is 5.29 kN and minor movement is 6.97 in 10 to the power minus 3 that is almost equal to zero and the major movement is 18.6248 right so all you need to do is that uh, take uh, this v2 and m3 so, so these two values you have to take right so for your design purpose so if you are designing these values manually so you have to take these values so, so this is at the uh, edge of the beam right so if you want to if you want to see uh, data at other points also you can see uh, them here right so so once you see this data and you need to export so what you need to do is that just uh, click on file and export current table so if you do it so it will uh, export this uh, table only uh, but uh, there are other tables as well you can see here right so there are uh, two table, two or three tables right so so if you click on file and export all tables so it will export all the tables that are here and uh, as you can see okay so here we have opened it right oops yeah here you can see uh, the files uh, the here you can see the data from the SAP has been exported to the Excel. Now what you can do is that, so if you want to, uh, you know, just uh, uh, get the maximum uh, value out of it, you can just use the formula and, you know, formula in the Excel and get the maximum value. Similarly, you can do uh, this as well. Right, this is another method of getting the maximum value. So, uh, uh, one different method I have, I have already explained in previous chapters, right? Alright, so similarly, what you can do is that you can do for the uh, column as well. So, you can just uh, select the column, right, and go to display and show tables, right, and here select load case. So, we don't get envelope for uh, column, so we just use you know, any of the load combinations. So, for example, if you want it for 1.5 TL plus LL, click OK. And you can click OK, right? So it is at three stations. So 0, 1.4 that is at the mid, and 2.8 that is at the top. So three stations. So frame ID is 70, and P that is the axial load is 67 kilonewton. So it is minus means that is compressive. So CMLS here shear force we got, and torsion and uh, the MUX and MUI so two movements we got here. So values, uh, and you can also export these values. So export all tables to Excel. And here we got these values over here, right? Alright, so okay, so this is how you get it, right? Okay, so uh, you know, once you get uh, the analysis results, you also want to get the design results, right? Before exporting design results, just change unit to uh, Newton mm centigrade because our enforcement is only in Newton mm centigrade, right? So here, let's display uh, the longitudinal reinforcement and uh, click on OK so you can see the longitudinal reinforcement here and click on display click on show tables and so we have selected this beam over here and let's just uncheck this and click on concrete frame and after that concrete frame data and click on this one 
and after that click on select load cases and here envelope and click on ok and click ok so as you can see here uh, so beam is 72 and it's beam beam so it's location at 0 so that is at the edge so the top reinforcement is 289.394 mm square so here we got 289.389 mm square right so similarly at the bottom we got 201.076 mm square so here 201 so so the results that you obtain here you can also obtain in the table so you know all right okay so yeah all right so you can also export these values and export all tables to excel right so we got the values exported here right okay so we got we got our values exported here so it's a uh, location you know at what point and that kind of load case and the top reinforcement so it's the top reinforcement and it's the top bottom reinforcement and similarly other things as well so shear reinforcement here and you know you can get other other things right okay all right so uh, similarly you can do for the column right all right so this is how you do it guys and i hope uh, it was helpful thank you for watching take care